Hi, welcome to Pabli Connect Workshop. In this video, we are going to integrate Google Sheets to Shopify. So basically, we are going to create a product in Shopify directly from Google Sheets row. This means that you don't have to manually add a product in Shopify from the data in Google Sheets. Just build the data in Google Sheet and automatically a new product is created in Shopify. Awesome, isn't it? But the main problem is Google Sheets and Shopify can't exchange data between them. In such cases, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we are going to use Pabli Connect to integrate Google Sheets and Shopify. It is actually an easy two-step process. Let me show you how it's done. First of all, you have to visit the website of Pabli Connect. This is the website. Here click on sign in. Obviously, I have an account in Pabli Connect. You can build your own account in just two minutes. So this is the dashboard. Here bring your attention to the connect part. Click on access now. Okay, here in the right corner you will find create new workflow. Just click it. Now we have to enter the workflow name. I am going to give it as Google Sheets to Shopify. Then click on save. Okay, when you click on save, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. In the Choose app, we have to change it from Webhook to Google Sheet. In the Choose method, we have to keep it as New Spreadsheet Row. Now let me show you my Google Sheet. So this is my Google Sheet. It's titled as Add New Product. And uh, these are the description. Product, Name, Vendor, Product Description, Tags, Published at, Price, Quantity, Image and Availability. Okay, so these are basically the features of my product. That is actually a black t-shirt. Okay, it is made up of pure cotton and uh, it is going to be published at 5 p.m. 5 a.m. The price is $2 and the quantity is there are 20 in my domain. Okay, and this is the image URL. Easy. Now bring your attention to add-ons here and uh, click it. As you can see, I have already installed Public Connect webhooks. If you don't have this Public Connect webhook installed in your system, just click on get add-ons here in the search. Just type Pabli Connect and just click it. On clicking this image, it will install Pabli Connect webhook. After the installation is done, just refresh the system. So let's go back to add on Pabli Connect webhooks. Here click on initial setup. When you click on initial setup, a window called as initial setup arrives in front of you. In this blank called as webhook URL, just go back to Pabli Connect and copy this and paste it here. In the trigger column, just enter the trigger column as J. So why are we entering the column J? Well, basically we are instructing the system that every time the last column gets filled, there will be a trigger. Since our last column is J, that is why we are entering J. If our last column was K, then it, it would have been K. Now we are going to capture this response in Pabli Connect. To do that, let's go to Pabli Connect. And click on Capture Webhook Response. Go back to Google Sheet and click on Send Test. Okay, the test data has been sent. Let's click on Pabli Connect to see the test data. Okay, so the Pabli Connect has captured the data. The product is Pure Cotton Variables. Okay, from here, Pure Cotton Variables. Name, Black T-shirt, Vendor, Asuna Holdings and so on. So basically, we have successfully fetched the data from Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. Now we have to sync this data to Shopify to create a product. So uh, to do that, let's click on this plus button. On clicking this plus button, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the action window. In the choose app, change it to Shopify. Shopify. In the choose method, change it from default create customer to create product. Then click on connect. In select your credentials, keep it as new credentials. Now to get private app API password, just go to the Shopify account. Here click on apps. Then click on manage private apps here. Okay, then click on create new private app. Just enter some random name. Give your emergency developer email. In the products, change it from read access 
to read and write. Also, you have to change the product listing from no access to read and write. Then click on save. Then click on create app. Okay, so it's showing that API credentials has been saved. Now, this is the password we want. Just copy this and paste it here. Okay, there is one more thing you have to enter. Enter subdomain. So basically, this is my subdomain. This first characters, okay. Just copy it and paste it here. Then click on save. Okay, now it is showing me a set of blanks. In the product title, we just have to map the data we have got. This one. In the product type, again, just going to enter the name. The vendor, just map it, Asuna Holdings. Product description, this is the product description, the product is awesome. The tags, shut, caught and cheap. Published at not really important. Price, yes, of course it's important. That's $2. Quantity, 20. Inventory policy, change it from deny to continue. Image URL, this is the URL of the image. SKU, just enter, just leave it like that. Is published, change it from false to true. Then click on save and send test request. Yes, the data has been sent. Now let's go back to our Shopify store to see whether the product called as pure cotton variables has been added or not. So this is my Shopify store. Going to products. It's loading. Let's check it. Yes. This is our product, pure cotton variables. Click it. So as you can see, the product has been created. So our experiment is successful. We have integrated Google Sheets to Pabli Connect and then to Shopify. So it automatically creates a new product. But for your satisfaction, let's enter data in Google Sheet so that Shopify can create a product automatically. But before that, let's go to Pabli Connect. Here, just save this workflow. Okay. Minimize this. Save this again. Okay. And minimize this. So let's go back to Google Sheets and create new data. Just submit this. Okay. But before let's go to add-ons here in the Pabli Connect, click on send on events. This will ensure every time a new data is entered in Google Sheet, Pabli Connect will recognize it. Okay, now let's add a new data. The product let's add rough cotton. Rough cotton. Name is blue t-shirt. Vendor, let's say it's a Rama holding. Product description, it's magic. Tags is cheap. And um, something. Published at 6 p.m. Price is, uh, this one is costly, $10. Quantity I have, 10. Image, just copy this image and paste it here. Okay. Now the availability, just type yes. So our data has been entered into Google Sheet. So let's see Shopify can create a new product with this data. Let's go to our store all products refresh this okay scrolling down yes we have got the product rough cotton this was the product the rough cotton t-shirt has been made so as you can see the product type blue t-shirt when the rama holding and rest of the data is available so this means that our integration is working absolutely fine so from now onwards, enter your data in your Google Sheets and you will have a ready-made product waiting in your Shopify store. So this is the magic of Pabli Connect. Not just Google Sheets and Shopify, you can make a ton of integrations with other apps. Thanks.